A woman is free tonight after spending part of the weekend in jail for an unusual and painful crime. She's accused of slicing the penis of an 18-year-old man with a box cutter. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet is live at the Johnson County Sheriff's Department with more on this scary attack. Chris. The assault stems from 35-year-old Bonita Vila's allegations that her daughter's 18-year-old boyfriend had molested Vila's young son. That's a charge that he denies to police who tonight are trying to sort out the details of this bloody attack. This is 35-year-old Bonita Vila, and the crime she's accused of sends primal fear into all males. An individual uh, cut a young man's penis. Uh, in, a, in a battery slash criminal confinement case that we're working. Vila was arrested early Saturday for the attack on her daughter's boyfriend, 18-year-old Christopher Dale, at this mobile home. Vila tells police she was using marijuana and perhaps other drugs with two other adult friends and became angered by her suspicions that Dale had inappropriately touched her young son. Dale tells investigators that Vila lured him into the trailer behind the one where she lives. That the group held him for three hours. Despite denying the allegations, Vila took a box cutter and slashed the teen. He was taken to a hospital for treatment. We went to Vila's Franklin, Indiana home, but no one answered the door. We also went to the home of her neighbor, suspected of helping carry out the attack. Again, no one answered. We do have a statement from her where she admits. Yes, I did have a box cutter. Yes, I did intend to cut his penis, but I think she's alleging that when she went to do it that he knocked it out of her hands or something and that it sliced his penis. While the victim is recovering from his wound, police are sorting out several alleged crimes, including possible child abuse, confinement, and an unnerving attack with a box cutter on an 18-year-old man. The victim also tells police that Vila threatened to have him killed and that, quote, the only way that he was going to leave that uh, mobile home alive is if she, if, is if he allowed her to cut him. Reporting live in Franklin, Chris Prophet, RTV6.